Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial from Rooms of Wonder by Johanna Basford. And I thought it would be fun today if we did this magic spell. I think it's quite good coming up to Halloween to have some sort of magic in the air. And obviously all the pings on this page um, are quite magical, but I just thought this one was a bit more Halloweeny and fun. Now we have a piece of parchment. Now normally if I was colouring paper or parchment I would just grab a green gold and just go for it. But because this is magical I thought we'd do something different. Um, I quite fancy doing a bit of a green. Don't know why. Let's just go for it. Huh? Um, should I use, what should I use? The emerald green I think. My emerald green is quite small as you can see. I don't know if my my picture's quite dark today. Um, the sun is coming in and uh, the book's in the shade, but uh, we'll see. So I'm going to go over the whole thing in this green, apart from the illustrations on the paper, to start with just in a light layer. Now it's not a very sharp pencil, which is what I want, because I just want a nice light application of colour across the whole of this um, paper. As I say, I want to try not to go over the little tiny bits, so maybe I need to sharpen my pencil in a minute to do those bits. So let's go back down to the bottom. Yeah, I'm just checking sideways glance as I went out of the lines to see if I had a pencil sharpener, which I do. It's always useful, isn't it? I think I am going to sharpen it. It's a bit intricate. There we go. Now, let's go around here now. I'm trying to colour in the direction that the sort of writing is on the paper because I think that will sort of look better but um, it's a little bit of an awkward angle especially as this is sort of angled on the page as it is now I'm thinking this is probably a feather um, and we've got sort of stars and lightning which is good fun now you could of course grab your um, metallics um, metallic pens to do the um, stars and things. What I'm going to do, I have used a white pen on this page a little bit, but I'm probably not going to do glitter or metallic. I quite fancy just sticking with pencils mainly. So uh, that's, that's, you don't have to do what I'm doing now. You know, if you fancy doing it differently, go for it. Have confidence to have a try. Um, if you're not sure, have a little go on a piece of scrap paper. I mean, I'm not suggesting that you um, could photocopy the page and do another version or cause it's not, although I have advised people to do that before, it is a bit naughty because Johanna's copyright is that we don't do that. Um, but you can just try scribbling a few different bits of the colours you're using on some scrap paper and seeing how that goes. Now I think the easiest thing to do with these is to actually colour the details now and then go back and tidy up the green after. So the stars I'd like to be very bright. I'm actually going to do the stars I think in this yellow. This is dark Naples yellow so it isn't, I hope that's showing up, I can barely see my screen. I think that's half the problem, the sun in my eyes. Um, I want them to be quite bright but also goldish, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do with those. Now the lightning is tricky. I sort of think I'll keep it white but it's not really going to show up. And it's going to look like I couldn't be bothered. Oops, let me just leave that pencil aside so I can remember to write it down. So I'm thinking, let's go with a bluey green or something. Not a bluey green, a bluey purple. So I'm going to grab the Delft blue and do it in that colour. So it just sort of looks a bit more magical and stands out. So yeah, so this is my um, Delft blue. I love this colour. There we go, it really does stand out. Now our feather... Um, Maybe we'll do in a slightly lighter blue. We've got a blue feather on the page already though, and a green one. Let's do something, let's do pink. Just to be diff just to be different. This is actually um crimson. Okay, I just grabbed at it. What I do, if I can't decide which shade of a pencil to use, I'm gonna go dark down the middle like that. 
and then just make it lighter towards the edge. Um, if I can't decide what um, colour pencil to use, say I want a pink, I just look at them and grab the one that's the tallest. This wasn't actually the tallest. But my tallest is a new one because I've used up the little one. Okay, and now we have these little dots. Mm, the diamonds. I'd quite like them to not do them all the same colour. So I think I'm going to do a really sort of vibrant red. Dark red for half of them. This is nice and sharp. Wow. I use my dowel sharpener for this one. I sort of use it at... I, I like it. It's very, very good. There's no question. Um, but if I'm recording a video, it's very noisy compared to this one that I'm using now. This is the cobalt blue. I decided not to go quite so dark with the blue because we've got that Delft blue there. Um, and um, so it's a bit, a bit noisy for using on a video, I think. And also if my son's recording, it's noisier too. So going back to our emerald green, we're going to do some shading and tidying, basically. So under here, look, Johanna's given us some dot to show us that this bit is going to be a little bit more shaded. So we can just overcolour that there to put in that shadow. I'm going to take it all the way across to the bottom there. Do you see? And then just a little bit darker. Now again, in this curled bit, particularly here, apparently I say the word curl in a very strange way. It's my Gloucestershire accent, I think. And then in there as well, I think this whole bit might be a little bit darker. And then that bit. So Johanna has helped us by showing us where to make it darker. So that's good. Now I'm going to go back over this and try and neaten it a little bit. Yours might look fine, you might not need to do this. But I just want to look, make it look fairly even, remembering it's a piece of old parchment. So it might be a bit faded, so you can sort of get away with it not looking perfect. But if it only looks uncoloured around the little stars and feather like mine, then it's going to look a little bit odd. Like you were desperately trying not to go out of the lines. <laughs> so I'm just carrying on. Now if you want to do this a darker colour, you could change the, the writing on it, you know, the black squiggles. You could put them in over in white pen. Um, to make them stand out if you wanted to do a black parchment which would be quite spooky I think it could be quite fun okay now we've got more shadowy bits to do apart from that hang on let's just do that bit there we go so again Johanna's drawn us some lines here to show us that that's darker and that's darker but I also think if we put a little bit here our sun's gone in like that it'll help us and a little bit down there where she's marked, like that. Now also, along the bottom here, you'll see there's a few dots. So we're going to overemphasize that a little bit by taking that color up a bit and fading up as we go so that the top bit is quite pale. I am doing a bit at the top just to try and tidy up my scruffy um, colouring. Now where this touches this, I think there'll be a bit of a shadow along there, so I'm going to try and do It's a very awkward angle to do it without, um, without putting my hand over the top of it. Just to put in a bit of shadow. Now you can do your shadows in a different green, in a different colour, if you want to. I think it's a little bit more subtle like this. But if you want to get right in here with a small amount of shadow, I'll show you. I have a new friend in my pencils. I have a dark sepia that is new and long. <laughs> and I'm going to use him just to show you. See, you want to almost go over the top of the black line that's there and just 
do a little tiny bit and in there just to emphasize those shadows we'll do the same up here so just here and here we're not doing too much just enough to just make that look a little bit darker I think I'm going to put a bit along there so it's going to be awkward and you pro I'll probably be covering it with my hand but I'm not going to look up and check in the camera so go I'll spoil it there we go now just a little additional bit see on the paper we've got some little lines at the side it's where the paper is sort of crumpled I'm thinking that there would be a little dip so it might just need a bit of shadow in it. Now this I think is the opposite. I think it comes outwards. So just a few little bits just to make the paper look a little bit more crumply. And then we're done. It's quite a quick simple one today. But I think it's quite fun making it green rather than just um, a sort of parchment colour. As I say, I would normally just go in with a green gold. Or you could use a brown, um, is it a brown ochre? Yeah, one of those two colours. If you do, if you use it really lightly, it does work. But anyway, there's that one for you. So thank you for watching today. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the rest of your day and happy colouring.